是位画师兼美术教师，专门从事用艺术疗法辅助心理康复和对酗酒、吸毒等行为进行纠正和治疗。我们来到他的画室进行采访。So this is a painting that I'm currently working on. Um, it was taken from a photograph my son sent me. He's currently working in China, and he's working. In... This is a picture about China. 这幅画上的景色，无论怎么看，都有一种似曾相识的感觉Uh -huh. Stay in Jinan, where he's working, mm -hmm. and the photograph was just so beautiful. The place looked so peaceful and tranquil. It just inspired me, and I just had to paint it. Uh -huh. Look at this uh, man fishing. Yes, this is what we yes. usually see. He mm -hmm. he was on the photograph, so uh -huh. I've put him in. I, I really liked the fact that that was kind of something probably typical mm -hmm. um, of the, the scene. Couple here walking onto the bridge, mm -hmm. looking across at the man fishing, and, and built it into a little story. Very um, beautiful, it's, uh, and it's so special. It's just so special, and you feel connected with your yes, son. Yes, my son is here, and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully one day I can go over and, and visit and mm -hmm. see this place for myself. And when you know the story behind, uh, when the artist creates the piece of art, you tend to understand more. About that work. Yeah. What do you think? Yes, I'm sure that I'm sure that's true. Mm -hmm. When they explain mm -hmm. what they've done and how they've achieved it and what they, what was behind their thoughts. Uh -huh. um, wow, this really makes me homesick. Now. I think it's just incredible. Wow. It's just a, the coincidences in life are just wow. you know just amazing, aren't uh -huh. they? When we walk into a gallery, um, we're all attracted to something quite different. We can be attracted to something by the subject, or um, it may be a place of interest that we recognise, a home place, or a place that we've been on holiday. Um, but in actual fact, to, to assess whether the painting is a, a, a quality painting, um, we often look a little bit deeper than that. Um, and a good quality painting, firstly, will, the artist will have used uh, good surfaces, artist quality paints, paints that are not going to fade and discolour. It, it would be presented well, uh, you'd have a, a nice quality frame um, and um, a picture generally will have good colour balance and um, good composition. difficult to choose one favourite painting out of all the paintings in this gallery. There are so many to choose from and so many different styles of work which I appreciate each and every one of them, the time and the effort and the individual styles of each artist. But if I wanted to pick one picture uh, that really appealed to me or one artist that really appeals to me, it would be this one here. The reason I like it is because he uses um, nice use of colour, he uses lots of complementary colour and he also captures the light really well in his scenes. Um, and I find that a lot of artists kind of lose the light off a little bit. They don't quite get that strength of light on their subject. And I also like the, uh, the style that the painting is painted in. It's very simple. It's not packed with too much detail. There's sufficient there to describe the shape of the buildings, what's going on in the picture, 
without overloading it with too much information. And I like that, that style. Imagine a world without art and how dull it would be. Art is a part of all of us. Art is also a great way of expressing yourself um, and often what we can't put into words we can put into pictures and um, getting involved in art through your mind and your body um, allows us to take yourself away from uh, everyday circumstances and become absorbed in what we're doing. You dance, drag the colours together. Art is a great reason to get together and to come together and to stay together. Um, it's, it's a great way of getting like-minded people together. A, a group of people doing the same thing offers support for one another. And as an example, I have a group of ladies that get together every week for a couple of hours to learn to paint. But it's actually so much more than a painting session. They come together, they share their lives, they share their experiences. And it, it becomes a social group, a therapy group, and it's an important part of their lives. And these ladies actually tell me that, you know, they hate holiday times, they, they miss their art group, and it's, it's, it gives them a reason to get up on a morning and takes them away from the stresses of the lives they leave behind in their homes. It's, uh, and the fact that they stay together and look forward to meeting each other, they become friends. Friend, they make new friends, friends they would never have had if it wasn't for their art class. As a professional artist, I actually make my living from teaching art and from painting. But in actual fact, I'm lucky enough to have art not only as a, a way of making a living, but it's actually my hobby too. And there's nothing I like better than to get into my studio and have some, some me time. It's actually my therapy as well. And it takes me out of the stress of my busy life and sits me down and gives me some relaxation too. I've seen firsthand how art can improve people's lives. I've had experience of working with um, young people in uh, a drug and alcohol and uh, teaching those people basic painting skills really helps restore their feeling of self-worth. It builds their confidence and their self-esteem and actually gives them something else to focus on other than the, the problems they've had in their lives in the past. It opens a new door into the future and gives them a new life, life with art. Thank you.